This video is brought to you by Elmer Shocks Networks. So we'll be talking about the how to design your own or how is my home Wi-Fi network. So in my home, I have a set of PC and mobile phones. So these are and NSA or NAS or Network Attached Storage also have IP cameras uh, let's put it another IP cam and um, switches switches that are smart switch so smart switch are can be controlled into a Wi-Fi so I use something like this, the Tapo Link Tapo. These are smart plugs and also I can control my appliances through this using the Wi-Fi and anywhere around the world as long as I'm connected to the internet I can turn it off any appliances that are connected on the Tapo. So this is not a sponsored video so this will be more of a just talk about home. So how did I design my home network? So IP switch and any other uh, IP camera, any smart device, smart scale, uh, Huawei, the HD, and also those are the different kind of groups that I'm deploying in my home. And also, I have several guests, guests and some visitors. Okay, so that's how I'm. These are the three groups in my network. So I'm gonna draw with you my home network. So my ISP. ISP is PLDT. Uh, globe and I use two ISP from the internet so I have a this is my TP link TP link so this is my load balancer so, TP link so I forgot the gateway model but I can show you the box so TP link. I'm using the currently using the Omada, so that's the TP link. And with the TP link, it's connected into the Omada controller, the OC two hundred. So basically, the use of this controller is to manage all the TP-Link devices and also the there's a PoE switch. A switch is PoE, power over Ethernet. So, yep. By the way, this is not directly connected, but this is connected by a, this one, then this is connected. So neglect it. Since the Omada is PoE, so it derives from the PoE switch and the TP link. So this serves as my gateway. So this gateway has two ISP. ISP1, the PLDT. ISP2, the globe. And the PoE switch also supplies my access point so ap1 if uh, first ground floor ap2 lobby ap3 the rooms so that's how i deploy my home network so yeah so that's basically the gateway has two ISP connectivity, so the globe. 
So they are operating in a load balance. Uh, low, uh, load balance. So they are one if one fails, the other the packets will be shifted to the other ISP. Uh, if normal scenario, uh, it will distribute both segment, both ISP for the current setup. So that's the sp specific how I deploy my home network. So that's how I define. So, yep, that's the hardware part. So three APs in a OMADA. So the OMADA controls the gateway, the PO switch, and the APs. So we are uh, currently, uh, this one will be LAN 1, and that's the VLAN native, VLAN 1. And this one is also LAN 2, this one is a LAN 3. So this, so how I am authenticating from this, uh, this is via normal uh, and this one is also normal Wi-Fi and this one is the voucher system so I'm deploying each AP 3 SSID so the SSID SSID one is SSID two SSID three so it operates a roaming but different kinds of LAN network it's separated by VLAN so that's how I operate my network at home so wherever you go in my home uh, if you're within the Wi-Fi range of the SSID one then you can roam around freely and my minimal dead spot on my home so that's how the that worked and also um i i was uh, for the wired net uh, for the wired pc i also using a switch the ge switch where the pc pc and the nas is here so that's how i deploy my wi-fi network and uh, so currently each ap is operating at three ssid so uh, every time i connect to ssid one specifically for the pc mobile and uh, network attached storage so that's for the personal use while the pink the ssid two will be for the ip camera smart switch smart scale and anything that is smart devices to isolate this from my personal devices and also the visitors which are using the voucher system will connect via the ssid3 and all of it are utilizing both globe and pldt as isp network so that's a simple network diagram and how i'm deploying my home network so the pc and the nas is specifically here in the gigabit switch is pointed on this lan one so i separated each network as a uh, through vlans and different sub network or different subnet so this is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 so you can also this 192.168.2.0.24 and 192.168.2.3.0 slash 24. So that's the power of subnetting. So yep, that's the Elmer Shocks network. So any questions, 
uh, please feel free to comment down below and what are your current omada setup at home for this scenario so just want to share this one so for the bandwidth i'm limiting each devices around 10 mb and for this one 100 mb then for the guest and visitors 30 mb so that's how i manage the actually i don't limit this my personal LAN because so I can maximize both network so for the load balance uh, here you have a lot of topics so any questions please feel free to comment down below please like and subscribe to grow this community and if you want to know more about the Omada system TP link Omada Not is sponsored by Elmer Shocks. So currently this one is working at my home. So very specific and very simple setup. So each time the either of the ISP will go down, uh, Wi-Fi will be up and internet will not be disrupted on my services. Yep. So that's it. So anything, any questions, please do like and subscribe. So Amar Shocks Network, very specific, and Omada. All right. So thank you, guys, and see you around.